Welcome back Guardians. If you've started the exotic quest for Winterbite, you likely noticed a character within the Vex network. Destiny veterans will instantly recognize this figure as Ashamir. Ashamir would then appear in the exotic quest for another exotic glaive, Vexcalibur. I don't know if Ash's story has finished yet, as more could be revealed, but even with the information we have so far, his story is incredibly important. Not only in the defense of the Cloud Ark from the Vex, but also in the longer term, specifically our battle against the Witness. Asher has become like Toland, but for the Vex. He is our spy on the inside, someone who can help us navigate and understand the Vex network. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a history lesson on Ashamir, which includes lore that dates back to 2017, and then we'll move on to the new lore and how Ashamir may be our key to winning against the Witness and the Pyramid Fleet. Stay tuned, Ash's story is super cool, super tragic, and this is definitely a win for Lifefall's release. But first... You've been fumbling tangles since Lightfall dropped, so how about you handle that tangle downstairs? Manscaped has come to the rescue and sponsored this video with their performance package 4.0. Got some stray strands that need trimming, the Lawnmower 4.0 will take care of that easily. It's cordless and waterproof. Got a big day of gaming ahead, learning the new raid, why not slap on some crop preserver ball deodorant? No one will even know you've been sitting in an office chair for 12 hours straight. I am built like callus. There is no thigh gap here. My bad boy thighs destroys underwear. I'm being completely serious. I'm not even a runner or anything like that. And I need manscaped anti-chafing high performance boxer briefs like all the time. Callus had a bit of a glow up in Lightfall, so why not treat yourself to the gold nugget boxer briefs? And if that's a bit too royal, maybe the other options will suit you. The all black, black and gold waistband, grey or pinstripe design. We all know it's not the dual placement on the outside that counts, but rather the dual placement on the inside. That's why Manscaped boxer briefs have the dual pouch, designed to comfort and cradle your orbs of power with extra breathability. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off and free international shipping when you use promo code MYLAN at the checkout. Your balls will thank you. If you have never seen Ashamir before Lightfall, you may not realize that he had a Vex limb before entering the Vex network. The Silicon Neuroma lore tab from 2018 describes how his fire team of three were taken out in the Pyramidian. Asher watched one of his teammates, an Exo Hunter, be torn into two by a Minotaur. And later during the battle, he couldn't bear to watch his other fire team member perish as they were swamped by the Vex. We don't know exactly how Asher escaped the Pyramidian, but chronologically, the next law entry has Asher unconscious in a medbay. In the Ghost Fragment Erismore Grimmore card, Erismore visits the unconscious Ashamir and speaks to him in a way that indicates that they're quite good friends. We learn that one of Asher's arms has been transformed into a Vex arm and that his ghost has also been infected by the Vex. His ghost now has a red eye rather than a standard blue eye that you see on other ghosts. While Asher would recover enough to become the vendor for Io, his condition is terminal as the Vex infection spreads. He describes to Akora in the Gensum Scribe lore tab how there's no cure, how no one can stop it, and how he is already in incredible pain and doesn't know what will happen when the machino forming reaches his lungs. Asher would reveal to Eris Morn in a letter that as his condition worsens, he feels a connection with the Vex themselves. This is told to us in the Gensum Knight lore tab, where Asher says he can feel them move through his veins and he senses their desires. You might be asking, why doesn't he use his ghost to heal himself? Well, Asher doesn't know what would happen. As said previously, his ghost was also infected by the Vex, and he had not been revived by his ghost since his infection. This is actually told to us in the idle dialogue when Asha was the IO vendor. As the IO vendor, we would assist Asha with his research, where he would frequently call us the assistant. In addition to helping Asha with research, we would enact revenge for Asha on the Pyramidian boss, Brachion. Asha blames Brachion for the demise of his fire team and his condition. When the Pyramid Fleet arrived in our system, a number of planets disappeared. Each vendor on the planets that were removed with the arrival of the Pyramid Fleet had a set of lore describing their final stand. When the fleet came for Io, Ashamir fought back by gaining access to the Pyramidian and trying to control the Vex tech there, as he believed the Pyramid Fleet would also be after the Vex tech. 
have a listen to the law entry Asher conclusion from the law book Duress and Egress. It reads, The Vex are not born, yet not created. Desire to understand this conundrum brought Asher to Io. He reasoned that the pyramid, with its alien resources and unknowable power, had likely come for the same purpose. The dark ship sought to take the secrets of the Vex for itself. But Ashamir had already staked his claim, and he was prepared to defend it. The law entry ends with Ashamir entering the Pyramidian and influencing the Vex architecture, sort of, I think. The law describes how he pulls down the Pyramidian lake. At the time, we didn't really know what this meant. Most assumed Asher was trying to merge himself with the Vex network in some way, trying to gain control of the Pyramidian and prevent the Pyramid fleet from nabbing Vex technology. That was the last we heard of Ashamir until Season of the Splicer. In Season of the Splicer, a friendly harpy appeared in the Elixni Quarter, making some cute beep boops. This turned out to be Morse code, which translated to assistant. Ashamir called us the assistant, so this harpy was definitely related to Ashamir. Further, the research equipment surrounding the harpy was the same as the equipment that surrounded Asher when he was the IO vendor. There were multiple interpretations for the Vex harpy. The first was that Asher had literally transformed into a Vex harpy. The second was the Vex harpy was being used to transmit the message, and this was Ashamir reaching out and letting everyone know he lives. And the third is that the harpy contained Ashamir's memories. There was actually a little bit of lore that supported this, as we do see one other friendly harpy within Destiny, and it related to Captain Jacob Hardy, and the harpy was not transmitting a message, but rather it contained the captain's memories. Right, you're now all caught up on six years of lore about Ashamir that's peppered throughout Destiny. We can now move on to the new lore. Lightfall confirms what happened to Ashamir. We first sight Ashamir in the Vex network during the exotic mission for Winterbite. He randomly appears along the Sparrow section and disappears as you approach. Asher would then become the focal point for another exotic glaive, Vex Galibar. The mission is started by collecting these Vex cubes, which provides an access code. The access code is 5343-5249-4245. If you convert hexadecimal to text, it spells out the word scribe. Ashamir was a Gen scribe, and so this is our first clue that Ashamir is actively trying to contact us. While this was quite subtle, Asher is more overt in the lore for the Inside Line Sparrow. The lore for the Sparrow describes a kid talking with a friend using an antique radio. The conversation between the friends is not really important, but rather what's between the lines is. The flavored text of the Sparrow says, read inside the lines. And when you look at the text, you'll notice a lot of dots and dashes. This is Morse code. Ashamir has transmitted a message using Morse code. When you translate it, it reads, Still alive, inside network, idiot kids. Classic Ashamir. So now we have confirmation that Ashamir did survive and is actually inside the Vex network. During the exotic mission, Asher demands that we persist through the Vex network, where we would eventually face a repurposed Brachion, remembering that the original Brachion claimed Asher's fire team and infected him with the Vex. So this is really cool to fight Brachion again on behalf of Ashamir. After defeating Brachion, Ashamir gifts you Vex Calibre. So not only has Ashamir survived the Vex network, persisted in the Vex network, guided us through the network, but he's also gifted us a weapon. At the end of the mission, Mithrax mentions how Asher's signal has gone quiet and how he must be exhausted from being constantly hunted within the Vex network. Mithrax is keen to continue to assist Asher, which once again is a nice callback to how we were Asher Mir's assistant on Io. The lore tab for Vex Calibur is a flashback to the immediate moment where Asher Mir went into the Pyramidian and pulled down the lake. It's not entirely clear, but my interpretation of this lore tab is that it is describing how Asher uploaded his consciousness or merged with the Vex network. It's a bit like a hacking battle between him and the Vex. What's super interesting is after he has merged with the Vex network, he seems to use the resources of the Vex to find information about the darkness and the pyramid ship. Have a listen to how the entry ends. It reads, Excellent. Now grant access to... Mm, all results, pyramid plus darkness, chronological sword, transfer, synapse, current display 2.5 times 10 to the power of 99 results. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. 
Did Ashamir just perform a Google search within the VEX network? Did he just access all the data that the VEX have on the pyramids and the darkness? He's already given us VEX caliber, but VEX data on everything they know about the pyramid ships and the darkness might just be more valuable. I have not done the legendary mission for Vex Caliber yet. I don't know if there is more lore or not. Right now, I'm still preparing for the raid race, and I still have a long list of lore topics to get through. Thanks for the patience. More videos to come. And with that, that concludes this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. If you'd like to support the channel, we cannot think of a comment. You have the word Vex Caliber. As usual, it's been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.